my name is Sinisha Hrvatin. Uh, I'm a member of the Whitehead Institute and a new assistant professor of biology at MIT. I've always actually loved fantasizing about uh, the future, future technologies. One area that I uh, found really intriguing is this idea of um, slowing down biological processes, uh, essentially suspended animation, which uh, you know is very much science fiction right now. But the more I looked into it, the more I realized that there are examples in nature where that are not too far away from that. So actually uh, torpor or hibernation in, in mammalian species. The broad vision of the laboratory is to study the biology of torpor and hibernation and uh, to explore whether we can harness the potential of these adaptations to advance medicine. And we are going to study um, several different areas of this. One of them is metabolism and physiology. So asking questions, how do animals enter into a state of torpor? And then also how do animals enter hibernation? Hibernation is a behavior that a lot of different animals exhibit and, and generally uh, it is described as, as the body temperature of the animal decreasing. For example, in Arctic ground squirrels, the body temperature can go as low as zero degrees Celsius. So it's a hypothermic, hypometabolic state coupled with a decrease in breeding, decrease in heart rate um, that animals uh, exhibit. And it's, it can either be daily or it can actually be seasonal. Decades of work have shown that body temperature and metabolism are regulated by the brain. So we hypothesized that uh, this behavior must be regulated by some population of neurons in the brain. What we went on to do is to try to identify a population of neurons in the brain that regulates torpor um, so that we can better understand how these processes are triggered. Using a variety of different techniques and approaches, we, we tested whether reactivating the neurons that were active during torpor in each of the different brain regions could be sufficient to induce torpor. And we noticed that for most areas it wasn't, but we found one specific area where if we stimulated the neurons that were previously active during torpor, we saw this really nice drop in body temperature and metabolism that um, was very similar to what they naturally did. It was very surprising to us that we could find a brain region and a population of neurons that could recapitulate so many of the aspects of, of a very complex natural behavior. Whitehead Institute has such an amazing concentration of, of scientists who think about a wide range of, of cool problems in biology. Some of the work that we'll be doing is at a bridge of fundamental science and eventually technology.